All right, y'all. So let's go, let's move it to the floor and do something a little different today with this warm up. And what I want you to do is I want you to take your ankle and grab it with the opposite hand. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop to the elbow and then we're just gonna, that should put your glute on stretch a little bit. And we're gonna just do kind of a self massage here um, to kind of just loosen up those glutes because they probably got nice and tight while we were sleeping. And this does help if you can move it to your floor off of your mat, if you're using a mat, because we do actually want to get kind of like a hard surface to kind of dig into that. And we're going to spend 30 seconds on this side and then we'll switch to the other side. And then we'll slowly ramp up the warm up. All right, I'll switch, switch legs. So same thing on the other side, grab that ankle with the opposite arm, and then you're gonna kind of lean onto that butt muscle, onto that glute, and just kind of notice how I'm kind of just like kind of rotating or oscillating on it. Bringing this leg into external rotation like I'm doing right now, helps to bring that, that glute muscle um, up to the, you know, more up to the surface and allows us to do a little bit of release or self massage here. Good. Now that we got that, we're going to bring it up into a half kneeling position. So this would be a good time to get to the mat. We're going to, we're going to get half kneeling here. We're going to do a nice hip flexor and quad stretch. And so what I want you to do is squeeze that back glute, push your hips forward. Now, if we want to spice it up a little bit, we can grab the ankle. Don't, if you, if you feel like you can't get all the way to the ankle, you can even, you can even just try to bring that foot up without grabbing onto it. But if you can grab onto it, you'll get it a little more. Keep squeezing that glute. We're going to do 30 seconds on this side, 30 seconds on the other. Just kind of open up those hip flexors before we get into this first station of our a um, little bit of everything AMRAPs is what I'm calling this workout because we are hitting a little bit of everything. We're going to be doing uh, plenty of strength work, bodyweight strength work. We're going to be doing plenty of cardio. And then we're also going to be getting a lot of uh, abdominal work as well, or core work. All right, same thing on the other side, half kneeling position. Squeeze that glute, slightly lean into it. Remember, if you've got that glute turned off, you can get as far as you want. That's not the goal here. Squeeze that glute. We're gonna rotate those hips underneath of us and then you should only be able to get a couple inches like you saw right there. Bring that foot up if you can. Feel that stretch on the front of the leg. If you can grab it even better. If not, don't worry. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little hamstring cramp in here. Good, and then go ahead and come up on out of that. And then that is gonna move us into our next exercise, which is our inchworm. So mainly just because I got a hamstring cramp, <laughs> but so we're moving to a little earlier. Knees are straight. Walk it out. Give me a push up at the bottom. Make sure you're taking those hands. You're screwing them into the ground. Walk those feet back to your hands using just your ankles. Try to get up as far as you can stand it up, turn it around. Same thing on this side. We're going to do four of these. If you need to push up from the knees, come back to your feet and then walk it back to your hands. There's two, let's do two more. Nice, good push up, squeeze those glutes, keep your core tight. Walk those hands back to your feet. One more. Push up. Walk those feet back towards your hands. Good. Next one, we're gonna do our trusty lateral lunge with overhead reach. So give me those arms up overhead. Elbows are as straight as you can get them. We're in a Y fashion. We're gonna step it out, step it back in. Five on this side, five on the other. Really make sure that toe is pointed forward when you go to step it out. Sink those hips down and back like you're sitting in a chair. Good, once you got five on that side, switch it over to the other side. 
Arms overhead once more. Try to keep that trailing leg straight so that we can get a little bit of groin st uh, stretch going as well. Nicely done, y'all. All right, last two. Do a little bit of activation work. I want 10 glute bridges, squeezing. We're gonna end up doing a variation on these in the workout. So might as well go ahead and get them warmed up now. Keep that belly tight, press through those heels, squeeze those glutes at the top. Once you get 10, which I've got right now, if y'all are following me, we're gonna go dead bug, leg only. So what I want you to do, legs are up, arms are towards the ceiling. I want you to bring those shoulder blades up off the floor. So we're tightening our belly. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop one heel to the floor. Then we're gonna drop the other. We're going back and forth until we get 10 on, or five on each side. We're just really trying to wake up those abdominals. As you bring that leg out, you should feel your low back kind of start coming off the floor. Don't let that happen. Keep tight here with your abs, and that's how we know we're activating them. Good, I lost count. We're gonna, we're gonna call that 10. And then last but not least, let's get that heart rate up a little bit. We're going jumping jacks for 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. Keep it going. Good, and we got five, four, three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. Grab a little bit of water. Make sure you got a towel handy. You're gonna want it. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over this first set of exercises as soon as I grab a little bit of water. Hopefully y'all are grabbing water as well. And then, we got our five minute AMRAPs here. So remember that means we're going through as many rounds as possible of these three exercises for each station. So station one, our first exercise is gonna be jump squats or a fast squat to calf raise. Just a good plyometric exercise. So remember, keep those hands at heart sink down, press that floor away from you. I know I'm kind of jumping out of frame there. <clears throat> Laying nice and soft. Focus on knees staying stacked over the toes. If you would like to, you can make this less hard on the knees and give me really fast squat to calf raise. We're going 10 of each of the three, three exercises in this first AMRAP, so it's easy for you to remember. So 10 of those jump squats, then we're moving to the second exercise, a single leg push up. We are, if we're going from the feet, it's gonna look like this, screwing those hands into the floor, squeeze the glutes, keep the core tight. Give me five on one side, five on the other. You can also do these from the knees. They're gonna look like this, keep your feet, for, don't keep, don't cross them. And then we're gonna just elevate one knee as we do five push-ups, and then five on the other side. So that's the second exercise. Third exercise, or the last one of this station, is a plank reach. So as soon as we finish those push-ups, we're gonna go straight into plank reaches. So squeeze those glutes, keep your core tight. You're giving me 10, on each arm alternating, okay? When you lift that arm up, your hip's gonna wanna drop. Don't let it, right? Everything should be as still as a statue 
except for your arms doing those reaches up. All right, y'all. Hopefully you remember all those. If not, we're going to go through them all together the first time, and then I'm going to task you with getting as many rounds of this as you can in those five minutes. And we are going in three, two, one, jump squats. Go in now. Give me 10 of them. Land nice and soft if you're actually jumping. If you're doing our squat, the calf raise, give me nice and fast. Once you got those 10, we're going single leg push up. Five on one side, five on the other. If you need a break in between, do that. Rest as long as you need to, but challenge yourself. Remember, those can be done from the knees as well. And right, then last one, shake your arms out. We're going plank reaches, 10 on each side. Squeeze those glutes, keep your core tight. It's gonna be easier the wider your feet are. You can also go from the knees here. Give me those 10 reaches on each side alternating, 20 all together. Resist that rotation through those hips and the shoulders, keep them all level, in line with the floor. Good. <clears throat> Take a quick break, catch your breath, grab water if you need it, <clears throat> and then hop right back in. We got two minutes down, three to go here. When you're resting, slow that heart rate down. Big inhale, big exhale through the mouth. Let me adjust the computer here just a little bit. And then we're going right back into it when y'all are ready with our 10 jump squats or squat the calf raise. And we're moving to those single leg push-ups. Remember, you can go from the knees if you need to as well. Either way, we're, we're squeezing that glute of the leg we want to elevate. And then making sure that those elbows aren't pointing out to the sides. I wanna make sure they're kind of pointing at an angle behind me. And then come up out of that once you get your 10 or five on each side, shake those arms out. This one's tough on the shoulders. So give yourself a little break. And then when you're ready, hop in for those plank reaches. 10 on each side. Feel that burn, squeeze those glutes, keep your core tight. Whew. Pop it up, shake it out, grab a little bit of water. If you need it, we got a minute and five to go. Let's see how far we can make it in this last minute of work. Remember, 10 of each. We got our jump squats. And we got our single leg push ups. Five on each side. Woo. Stay with me, y'all. We're almost there. 20 seconds to go.
All right, 15 seconds. Finish it up wherever you're at. Rest is near. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Time. Ooh, nicely done. Shake the arms out, shake the legs out. Grab a little bit of water. All right, next grouping of exercises as y'all are recovering. We're on the floor for the first one. 10 floor rows. Drive those elbows into the floor, squeeze that back. Use your abs to help you if you need to, to get up. 10 of those. Then we're going glute bridge marching. Press through the heels. We're only going up about two inches on each side. We're going 10 on each leg. And then the last one, we're going side plank, front kick, or from the knees, it's gonna look like this, front knee, or you can do the full kick. All right, y'all. So in summary, four rows times 10, glute bridge marches for 10 on each side, side plank kicks, 10 on each side. All right, y'all get ready. We're starting with the floor row. Three, two, one, go. Come up, squeeze for a second. Come back down. 10 of these. Try to keep your neck neutral. So look straight up towards the ceiling. Make a fist with those hands. That'll help kind of radiate that energy and that muscular contraction all the way down the arms into the back. Once we've got 10 there, we're coming up. Belly is tight, pressing through the heels, glutes are squeezed, and we are marching. 10 on each side. Try your best to keep your hips level here and don't let them drop if you can help it. Just a couple inch raise on each side. Once you've got 10 all together, or 10 on each side, 20 all together, we're coming up into side plank or from the knees, and then we're doing Kicks, 10 of these. Big exhale every time you kick. Woo. Switch it to the other side. Really lighten up the obliques here. Keep your Pull that belly button or that belly button towards your spine. Once you got 10, come on down. Shake it out, grab a little bit of water. We got two minutes down, three to go here. Let's see if we can get at least two sets here, possibly even into the third. All right, so running through this again. Four rows for 10. Notice how my elbows, they're not completely out to the side. They're about 60 degrees away from the body. And then I'm squeezing those shoulder blades together when I come up. Remember, if you can only just get a little bit up, that's fine. Over time, you'll be able to get up more and more. Then we're going to our glute bridge marches, 10 on each side. Press through those heels. Try to keep those hips from dropping if you can help it. Easier said than done, I know. 
Y'all are doing great though, stay with it. Give me those 20 out together, 10 on each side. Then we're coming up into that side plank. We got a minute 15 to go. Finish strong here. And we're doing these kicks. Remember, these can be done from the knees. You can do a knee kick, like a, uh, like a high knee, or you can do the full kick. If I'm doing the kick, I really want to pull those toes towards the shin. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Do your best to keep those hips up. If you need to break in between. I don't know about y'all, but my glutes are on fire from this station too. We got 20 seconds to go. See if we can't get a few four rows in or wherever you're at, do a couple more reps. We got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nicely done, y'all. All right, pop it up. Rest break, grab water if you need it. We got two stations down. Now we're moving on to the third station. <clears throat> we're gonna work on a little more cardio now. We've been doing a lot of strength for those first two stations. So what we're gonna do is we're starting with, this is a 5, 10, 15 uh, ladder for the reps. So five burpees with the push up if you can. You can either step it out and then step it back in, give me a little hop, or you can give me the full burpee, give me five of those. Then we're going 10 skaters on each side. Remember, if you need to, you can step behind. And then 15 supermans. So we're here, extend up, back down, 15 of these. You can, uh, we can modify this by just doing the legs if we want to, or we can do just the arms. So you got a couple options there. But we're going five burpees, 10 skaters, 15 supermans. All right, here we go. We're going in three, two, one, burpee times five. Remember, you can step or hop, completely up to you. Do what you think you're gonna be able to do multiple rounds of. If you wanna do the push-up, do the push-up, or you can leave it out. Then we're going to our skaters. We're going 10 on each side. 20 all together. Now remember you can do a kind of like a curtsy if you want. Notice I'm crossing opposite arm over. Get a little bit of core work. Once I got 20 of those 10 on each side, I'm hopping down to the floor. And I've got my 15 Supermans here. This is a lot of Superman, so if you want to break them up, maybe split them up into fives. Give yourself a quick like 10 to 15 second rest break and then hop back in. But push yourself here. Feeling that burn all on the back side of the body. All right, y'all catch your breath real quick in between these rounds. 
And then when you're ready, pop it back up. And let's see some of those burpees again. We got two minutes down, three to go here. And remember, you can step it out, drop to the knees, push up, come back up, step it back in, and hop for a modified burpee. Then we're going into our skaters. Halfway here, two and a half minutes to go. Try to cover as much distance as possible. Nicely done. All right, catch your breath real quick. We got just under two minutes to go here. Finish strong. Last of the three is our Supermans for 15. Remember, if you just want to do the arms, that's fine. Honestly, these Supermans, when you're doing this mini, any of, any of the variations is going to burn. And I just want you to make sure you can get 15 of those, whether you need to split them up or not. It's completely up to you. We got just over a minute to go here. Let's see how far we can get in this final 60 seconds of work. Keep it going. I know your body's still needing to stop. Don't do it. 45 seconds left here. Finish strong. Almost there. Remember, 10 skaters on each leg, 20 all together. Really getting those little glute med muscles on either side. Firing. And we got five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo. Good job, y'all. All right, grab a little bit of water, slow that breathing down, catch your breath. Three stations down, two to go. 10 more minutes of work. Y'all made it this far. You made it through 15 already. So don't let up. Not that you were going to anyways, but sometimes I gotta tell y'all that so I can hear it myself. All right, y'all, station four. We got plank jacks. <laughs> Ginger says she's warmed up. I'm glad to hear that, Ginger, because I am too. All right, yeah, we're going to get even more warm. We're doing a little bit more a uh, combo here. We're going to be doing some core work, but we're also going to be getting a little bit of cardio and strength. So it's the best of all worlds. <clears throat> we're going to be doing plank jacks for 10. Whether you want to go from a high plank or a low plank is up to you. Low plank on the elbows is going to be easier, just slightly though. And we're hopping out, 10, or step out, 10 on each side. Then we're moving to shoulder taps. So then you're going to pop up to your hands if you're in that low plank. And we're going shoulder taps. We are doing 10 on each side for that. Remember, resist rotation. Similar to what we were doing when we were doing the glute bridge marches, but now we're in that plank position. Go from the knees if you need to. And uh, then last but not least, 
we're doing single leg airplanes. So arms come out. We're gonna try to hinge at the hips and then come back up. My advice is get close to a wall or a chair so that you have that little bit of help to balance, but try to use the wall or the chair as little as possible. Five on one side, five on the other. So those are our three exercises. We got five minutes here, stay with me. Two more stations, plank jacks for 10, shoulder taps for 10 on each side, single leg airplanes for five on each leg. Three, two, one, go. 10 plank jacks or step out plank jacks. Once you get those done, you're doing shoulder taps. Squeeze those glutes, keep your core tight. Why do your feet are the, the easier it'll be? You can go from the knees here as well. Remember 20 all together, 10 on each side. You want to make it even harder, pause for a second when you touch. Once you got those, you're popping up to standing. If you've got a mat, I would suggest not doing it on that. You want to be connected to the floor. Mat's good for a lot of the other stuff we've been doing. But when it comes to this stuff, we want to really grip that floor with our feet and then go nice and slow. Soft bend in the knee, toe is pointed directly forwards. I'm grabbing that floor with my big toe and doing nice and slow reps of five. <clears throat> Switch to the other side. Do your best here to make sure you're pushing your hip directly back. A lot of times you're gonna kind of open up. So do your best to kind of keep it in line with the toe and the knee. Easier said than done, I know. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. Come on up, squeeze the glute at the top. Good, shake it all out. Two minutes down. Three to go here. We're back toward to the top. Take a nice big deep breath when you're ready. We're going plank jacks. 10, keeping that belly tight. Good. And then if you need to come up out of it, rest real quick because we're going into those shoulder taps next. So this is two shoulder intensive moves back to back. And then when you're ready, come back up into it. Resist rotation. Through that rest of the body, we're kind of like a statue, basically from the shoulders down. Give me. 20 taps all together. Once you got those 20, pop it up for round two of our single leg airplanes. Let's see if you can do it without assistance this time. Or if you did it without assistance the first time, Stay without assistance this time. Let me give you all the front view. So I can show you what I mean. Try not to let that hip kick out. Try to go straight back with it. So if you notice my hip is staying in line with the rest of my leg. Soft bend in the knee, really grabbing that floor with my foot. I've got pinky toe, big toe, heel, all glued to that floor. All right, y'all, just under a minute to go. 
Let's finish it out strong. Plank jacks, shoulder taps, airplanes. 30 seconds to go. Keep that core tight, glute squeezed. Go from the knees. If you need to for this last round, we got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, time. Oh, I've got to even myself up. There we go. <laughs> All right, grab some water, y'all. Four rounds down or four stations down. One to go. Y'all have made it this far. Don't quit on me yet. All right, last one. Move one, mountain climbers. 12 on each side. If you need to, come up and tap. Second move. We're back on our backs. We're doing a hamstring walkout. Walk it out, walk it back in. Keep those hips as high as you can. If you can walk it all the way out, then do that. Walk it out just as far as you can to keep those hips up off the floor. And then final exercise is another one for glutes. We're hitting them hard today. And we're going side hip lifts. So all that's gonna look like is this. You're from the knees. We're bringing the hip up, then we're bringing the knee up. Six on one side, six on the other. Okay, arm can be up towards the ceiling or it can be resting on your hip. All right, y'all, home stretch. Three, two, one, mountain climbers. 12 on each leg, 24 all together. And we got our hamstring walkouts. Stay on your heels here. You should really feel those hamstrings tightening up to keep those hips up. When you walk it out, you're giving me six of these. Remember, only walk it out as far as you can get it back in. It doesn't take a lot of distance for these to really start firing those hamstrings up. Try to get the feet even with each other and then walk it back in. Once you got six, come on down. Rest for a second. Because I know those glutes are screaming at you. I know mine are. Then we're popping into this modified side plank. And then I want you bringing the hip to the floor and then up. Just six of these, because these are tough. If you need to do three, rest for a quick 10 to 15 seconds, and then pop back in. By all means, do that. After all the other glute stuff we've done today, that would totally be warranted. Home stretch, y'all, stay with me. Ooh wee, that was burn. All right, y'all, two minutes to go here. That's all we got left, two minutes. Let's see how many more rounds of this you can get. Mountain climbers for 24, 12 on each side. Hamstring walkouts for six. Sideline hip lifts for hip, hip lifts for six. Excuse me. All right, y'all. The finish line is within reach. Push. Till the end, we got just under 90 seconds to go. Woo. 
Woo. Feel that burn on the back side of the body. All right, y'all, final 60 seconds. Everything you got here. Let's see if we can't get even on both sides. Try not to get caught in the middle of these sideline hip lifts. And so now you see why I showed you all that little glute massage. That'd be a good one to do later too. We'll do it to cool down here in just a second, but don't give up yet. Finish strong, 20 seconds to go. <clears throat> see if I can get through one more round of mountain climbers. Three. Two, one, time. Woo wee. Good job, y'all. Pop it up with standing. Catch your breath real quick. Grab a little bit of water if you need it. And then I'll tell you what. We'll do a quick hamstring stretch standing. And then we'll take it back down to the floor to do that glute massage. Because I don't know about y'all, but that sucker is tight on me. All right, hinge at your hips, knees are straight, hamstring stretch, reach for those toes, forward fold, relax that head, slow that breathing down, even in this folded position, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, You wanna enhance it a little bit, bring those feet together, squeeze between those legs. That'll allow you to get down a little further. All right, come on up. Let's move it to the floor. Get onto a hard surface if you can, or harder than a mat. You're on a mat like I am. Let's do one more glute massage. So grab that ankle, bring that leg into external rotation. And then find that tender spot, because by now it should be really tender. After we just finished beating it to death. But that little glute medius muscle is what helps keep our hips level when we walk. And then it's weak, a weakness in that tiny little glute muscle up there that we're working on right now can really lead to some back pain over time. So it's definitely a good one to keep in the rotation as far as working it. All right, y'all, same thing on the other side. Remember, you don't have to bring it all the way up, just a little bit of external rotation, which is bringing that knee out and the angle in, is gonna allow us to get that, that muscle to the surface. And we can massage it a little bit after we finish, tighten it up. All right, y'all, break out of that. <clears throat> Let's stand it up. <clears throat> Quad stretch, grab that ankle, push that hip forward, squeeze the back glute. We'll do about 20 to 30 seconds here, then we'll switch sides. Try to keep that knee towards the midline of your body. Good, release that. Same thing on the other side. Whew. Give me some nice big deep breaths here too. If you notice you're still breathing heavy. And even if you're not, it still allows us to really start tapping into that recovery system as soon as the workout ends. Good. Let's hit a chest stretch and we will finish with this one. Grab those hands, clasp them together, press down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And 
again. Three, two, one, forward fold, let them fall. And then slowly work your way back up. And that is it for today's bodyweight boot camp.